Good evening. I'm David Cantor. I'm a director with Deutsche Bank, and I'm also the co-chair of the SAGE Board of Directors. Wow, Pat. Yes. <laughs> that is a hard act to follow. It's pretty obvious in your family, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. But seriously, Michael was right. It is about every generation stepping up to the plate to help LGBT elders, which is why I'm up here with Michael's mom, and it's why I joined the SAGE Board of Directors in my early 30s, and why last year I stepped up to be co-chair. And I was thrilled this weekend that Judge Roz Richter and myself were each re-elected to one more term as co-chair to the SAGE Board of Directors. Thank you. Our LGBT elders have always been our pioneers. They've paved the way for the range of lives that we live today. Diverse and open lives that may not be perfect, but are much easier than what our predecessors faced. Think about the stories that Charles told earlier. Think about Raphael's friend Lou. Think about the videos that you've seen, some of the constituent stories you've heard. None of this would be possible without SAGE. Tonight is an amazing night. And just by being here, you're already showing your generosity. And now we invite you to show how much you care by choosing to stand with SAGE and our LGBT elders every day of the year. And the way that you can do that is by making the decision tonight to become a major donor to SAGE. We call them SAGE investors because when you support SAGE, you're investing in the quality of life for today's LGBT elders and for your future as well. Major donor isn't as intimidating as it sounds, I promise. At $1,500 a year, many people in this room are already SAGE investors. If you are, don't be shy, and please stand up so that we can thank you with a big round of applause. If you're not yet a major donor, tonight's your chance. There are pledge cards on every table, and we'd love to have as many of you as possible join our investor circle tonight. Walking around the room are folks that are willing to collect those cards once you've filled out your credit card number or written your check or are ready to hand them some cash. Last year, we were very fortunate to have some extremely generous attendees who were moved to write checks of five and $10,000 a piece. Let's hope they're back in the room tonight and are equally inspired. And for those of you who choose to do your major giving through your estate planning, SAGE has the Taylor Society. And for those of you who'd like to learn more about the Taylor Society, you can go to the SAGE website or you can speak to Kenneth Cox, our Director of Development, who's here this evening. And for those of us for whom $1,500 may be too big a gift to make all at once, we invite you to join the SAGE Associates Investor Circle, where you can give on a monthly basis and still have a significant and meaningful impact. Finally, if becoming a major donor isn't a commitment you're prepared to make, I know you'll reflect upon the stories you hear tonight. From our constituents, our leadership, and our awardees, I know that all of you will do what you can to stretch for SAGE. In closing, during this coming year, as you learn about SAGE's next big win, whether it be a change in federal policy or perhaps hear from another constituent about how SAGE has been their lifeline, or perhaps hear how our good friend Edie has won her Supreme Court case,
you'll know in your heart of hearts how your generosity has connected you to your community and allowed SAGE to continue its legacy of services and advocacy for LGBT elders. Thank you, thank you for your generosity and enjoy the rest of your evening.